Amanu, what more are you learning about Donald Trump Jr.'s deal to testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee? A very significant development after Donald Trump Jr. had fought a subpoena issued by the Republican-led committee demanding that he return amid questions about whether or not he had been truthful in his past testimony to Congress. Now he has agreed to return, and the, in return, the Republicans and Democrats on the committee, the leaders of the committee, have agreed to limit the time and scope of the questions, and he will probably, we're expecting him to be back on Capitol Hill in mid-June. Now, this came after there were concerns that he would not appear, that he could defy the subpoena, and there were talk on Capitol Hill that the president's son could be held in contempt of Congress. Now, we are just told that just now uh, our colleague Karis Canal got information from a source close to Donald Trump Jr. that Trump Jr. was prepared to be held in contempt and had a letter written he was prepared to send to the committee saying he was ready to do that. But the committee, uh, this is all part of the negotiations that ultimately led to the Today's late deal in order for him to come in. He also agreed, the committee agreed, according to the source, to limit follow up questions that could be asked. And if there were questions that would uh, go over his past testimony, he would simply refer those questions to his past testimony from 2017. Now, two big topics they do want to discuss the Trump Tower Moscow project that the Trump Organization pursued in the run up to the 2016 elections, as well as his testimony about the uh, 2016 meeting that he had with Russians at Trump Tower in New York. Those questions are not off limits, we're told, but Wolf, he, he would, uh, Burr, Richard Burr, the chairman of the committee, and Mark Warner wanted to ask him roughly 12 topics. Now this limited to five or six topics. So both sides giving a little, but a big development here. Donald Trump Jr. will be back on the Hill after fighting and threatening to defy a subpoena and even taking the Fifth Amendment by not to not incriminate himself as Republicans were concerned, his allies were concerned, he could be walking into a perjury trap, Wolf. But he was willing to stand up to that subpoena to defy the subpoena? Is that what we're hearing? He was willing to defy the subpoena. He was willing to be held in contempt. This is according to a source uh, close to Donald Trump Jr., according to our colleague, Kara Scannell. Now, uh, well, the, the areas that he did not want to talk about initially, he was pushing back about, was about that Trump Tower meeting and about the Trump Tower Moscow project, because in the aftermath of the Mueller report, it showed that there were some discrepancies in what he had said previously. He had previously said he not only was peripherally aware of that Trump Tower Moscow project, but the Mueller report uh, revealed that Michael Cohen, the president's former attorney, had testified that he had briefed Donald Trump Jr. multiple times about that project. Also, Donald Trump Jr. said that uh, initially to Capitol Hill that he had only told Jared Kushner and Paul Manafort about the Trump Tower meeting with the Russians. But the Mueller report said that he had actually had discussed with a larger group of individuals, including Trump family members and members and top Trump campaign aides, that he had a lead and to dirt about the Clinton Foundation in the days before that Trump Tower meeting. Those are the types of discrepancies that the, the Senate Intelligence Committee has wanted to clear up. They wanted to ask Donald Trump Jr. those questions. That's why he balked, because of concerns he could be walking into potential legal problems. But apparently, after days of negotiations, threats to potentially hold him in contempt, and threats that he may defy the subpoena, he has agreed to come back answer questions, limited follow-up questions, limited time on Capitol Hill, and this will be the last time he'll be up on Capitol Hill. But a very newsworthy development here, the president's eldest son coming back to Capitol Hill after fighting a subpoena, and the president today saying that he thought it was very unfair that his son would have to come back and answer more questions from a Republican-led committee.